This is the unboxing of the Goyojo GRS 225RF. So we do have our instructions. So the infrared sensor is a vanadium oxide uncooled focal plane array at 256 by 192. It's a frame rate of 50 hertz. So the display will output 1440 by 1080. And that is actually a full OLED display, so that's nice. For optics, we have an objective lens of 25 millimeter, eye relief of 65 millimeter, optical zoom of 3.5, and a digital zoom of 1 to 8. We have a field of view of 7 degrees by 5.3 degrees, diopter adjustment of negative 5 to positive 5, focal range of 5 meters to infinity, and this is awesome, a detection range of 1300 meters that is actually pretty darn awesome and a whole lot of different functions on there including a thermal one shot zero so that's great so we have a net weight of 760 grams 288 by 85 by 75 max recoil of 800 grams and that is ip67 rated so it's an 18650 battery it is a cr123 battery and it has an operating time of seven to nine hours okay so that is a pretty impressive piece of equipment so it does come with our cup pre-installed Got a nice looking lens there on the back. We have our diopter adjustment. We have our objective lens adjustment. This is nice. We actually have a range finder built right into the scope. That is very neat. We have a hard cap built into the front. Very slick looking lens right there. We have our battery compartment on the side. And it appears that that does come with a CR123A battery. That's a surprisingly thick wall on that guy. And I do appreciate that we have a tether on that cap so we do not lose it. On the top we got our power button, we got our photo button, and we have our color adjustment. Then we have our dial, and we have our menu and OK button. We also have our charging cable that is USB-A to USB-C, and that is going to plug into the side right there. And we do have an indicator light in there to let us know when it is charging. Oh, that's nice. So they did actually include some nice scope rings for this. You have some padding there on the bottom and on the top. So that is a nut to tighten it on. And it even has a little hole through there so we can wire that down if we want to. And it did come with the all that we need so that we can tighten this guy down. 